Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the channel. I'm Jason Worley with WC Fab. Today we have our LBZ LMM Stage 1 High Flow Bundle Kit. All right, LBZ LMM owners, 2006 to 2010 model Duramax, a very popular model year range. If you're not familiar with our high flow bundle packages, we've offered these for several years for the Duramax and Cummins platform. What we're aiming towards is putting together our most popular items into one package to save you, the customer, some money versus buying components individually, especially if you opt for a two coat color option. There's a big cost savings to be had buying a bundle kit versus all the parts separately. So what we have today in that stage one bundle kit is our hot and cold side intercooler pipes, as well as our three inch Y-bridge kit. So we'll start with the hot side intercooler pipe turbo outlet. Uh, at the turbo outlet is the uh, hottest temperatures of your turbocharger intercooler system. We have our high quality Aramid line wire reinforced uh, turbo outlet boot. Uh, this is a very important upgrade to the factory intercooler plumbing system. If you use your truck for any sort of heavy towing or extended use through high elevation um, or increased performance applications, upgraded turbochargers, the factory hot side um, driver side intercooler pipe is a very common failure point, especially as these trucks are now exceeding 20 plus years of age. So that silicone boot connects to our three inch, 14 gauge mandrel bent intercooler pipe, which upgrades from your two and a half inch diameter factory component. And we also, at the lower intercooler connection, eliminate the angled boot and replace that with a straight silicone boot. So a big upgrade here. Another thing I will note uh, on, on the factory uh, hot side pipe is the OEM actually uses a reverse style bead roll connection at the turbo outlet. Instead of having a raised ridge to keep your clamp from sliding off, they actually have an indent in the pipe that the boot seats over and that's uh, one of the most common failure points on that OEM driver side pipe for the LBZ LMM model. So flowing through your intercooler to the cold side intercooler pipe, we have our three and a half inch high flow intercooler upgrade for the, for the cold side. This is replacing your OEM plastic assembly. This passenger side intercooler pipe assembly is a 47% increase in CFM on the flow bench compared to the OEM plastic assembly. What we've done is moved away from the OEM single lip ring design and moved to a CNC machined billet flange at both connection points using a double O-ring seal. A healthy amount of grease on both of these and those slide into place over the intercooler and the Y-bridge uh, crossover pipe and we supply new wire retaining clips to replace that factory worn out retaining clip. Uh, in the center of those pipes we have a, a three and a half inch hump boot with uh, wire ring in the center, and that's a lot to allow for engine movement in the truck because these are direct facing pipes the way they're installed. So our cold side upgrade connects to our recently released high flow three inch Y bridge upper crossover pipe assembly. This kit uses our highly sought after three inch Y bridge that we've been producing for many years and our recently upgraded improved design upper crossover pipe. Uh, this, just like OEM, connects to the machined slip ring. Whether you have an LBZ or LMM model, this is the LBZ in front of us here. The LMM model looks slightly different using a bolt together flange to accept that OEM throttle valve. This upper section here, two piece component, allows installation of your grid heater. We use a high temp O-ring seal connection on both sides of the grid heater instead of the OEM metal gaskets which are notorious for leaking. Assembly of this upper section replaces your factory cast components, which have several neck down points and crushed cross sections, which are not good for airflow into the Y bridge. The OEM component is 356 CFM. Our three inch high flow kit that we just showed you here is a massive 36% increase over the OEM components for 486 CFM. That's 130 CFM gain over factory. On the bottom of the upper section here, you'll see our CAS EGR connection. This allows connection to the EGR system, again using high temperature silicone O-rings versus the steel gaskets. We also include a new gasket for the EGR cooler for reinstallation. This allows complete assembly with no check engine lights, 
no tuning required, emissions compliant upgrade. That upper intercooler pipe by way of our three inch silicone boot connects to our three inch high flow Y bridge. This Y bridge is replacing the OEM cast unit, which is a very restrictive component. And one of the nicest features of this Y bridge is the ease of installation. If you go back seven or eight, 10 years ago, when we were making Y bridges, we were making a one piece design and they were, they were difficult to install because it's hard to access your lower bolts. We went back to the drawing board many years ago and we designed our two piece Y bridge. So we'll go through how this works here so that you understand. The factory bridge is two piece and that's one of the largest downfalls with the factory bridge as you can see here, the OEM design, the inlet is just two O-rings sliding into the bridge and there's nothing else that supports that bridge or keeps that inlet connected to the bridge crossover section. So what we've done is design our two-piece bridge so that the lower section is easy to install just like factory. You can access all of your lower bolts without any special tools and you don't have to worry about swivel sockets and losing your hardware like some of the other bridges. So what's important about our two-piece design versus the OEM two-piece design is how we connect our inlet pipe to the bridge so that it doesn't slip apart like the faulty OEM design does. First, the installation of the silicone O-ring on the face of the lower section. With a healthy amount of grease, the inlet pipe slides down into place with the bottom engaging into the groove. And the top side, installation of the stud, and we have our special tapered nut, which seats into the tapered flange. As you install the nut on the stud, and as the nut tightens down against the flange, it takes that horn and seals the face of it tight against the O-ring that was recently installed. What that does is give you a leak-free seal, three inches the whole way through the track, not getting neck down to two and a quarter like the factory, and then into the internal divider that helps split the air between your passenger side and driver side intake runners. So with simple one bolt installation on the top, it seals up your bridge. Our bridge is the easiest to install three inch high flow bridge on the market. And you'll see here we have our threaded port for the OEM temperature sensor. So that wraps up all of the contents of our stage one high flow bundle kit, wrapping all these components together to save you money versus buying them individually. Uh, WC Fab Red, is what we have shown in front of us here. Uh, this kit typically in stock on the shelf, ready to ship within a few days. Uh, many custom colors to choose from. WC Fab, obviously, we do all of our powder coating here in house. 35 standard colors from our standard option set and many custom colors to choose from. If you've got any other questions on our bundle kits for the LBZ LMM, feel free to leave a comment below or hit us up on social media, give our sales team a call. And make sure you stay tuned. We will have stage two and stage three bundle kits for these Duramax model years releasing very soon. Thanks a lot for watching.